Alrighty, Rue and Cuckoo could shoot to you and all my new days on watch another. I don't need it. Go. Go. There we go. Let's just save because that's probably a wise choice. Um, we got that out of the way. We did our, another little. I mean, at least I've got my audio outtakes out of this thing. I guess. <laughs> no, you are not! You're not a cool girl. At least Day seems to think so. Okay, well, you may have tricked some one person. Good for you. Trixie little hobbitsies. She's like, I'm gonna sit here and be able to spawn it now. Thanks. I have another picture! Aww. That's actually heartwarming. And cute. It's, you know, it's, it's sweet. That's, all, that, that's super wholesome. I still have seven total episodes. And apparently I can get a thing from each of them one once per episode. Which, yeah, I wasn't planning on continuing for too long, but I'm going to go on a little bit farther. Girl, like, seriously, you need to get on some antidepressants. You're just like, you're, it, you're just like so sad all the time when you're at home. Like, even this, just like, look, you just look like, yeah. And we're gonna call day, cause everybody else is just kind of okay. Yeah, hi, hi. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, are you? Are you really, though? Like, are you really? Woo! <sighs> That's my excited noise. Woo! In response, are we fucking Sims? Speaking Simlish. So, are you are you serious? Like, are you that bad at humaning? Like, what context does this make sense to you? Otherwise, like seriously, because it makes me worry what other contents you think could be the thing. Because it's like, are you ready? Are you ready? Woo! Woo! It's like, time to MK Ultra the fucking, you know, president or some shit. What the fuck? Like, what the hell? Why are you wooing? What, what's going on? I don't understand that. Okay, cool. Whatever. That's fine. Ha <laughs> ha! Seriously, though, I'm so excited about tonight. It's gonna be so great to have a night just us girls for once. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, also, um, I'm not, my, my dad specifically said I shouldn't use the blender. It was like literally the first thing. So something bad's going to happen there, but I mean, who doesn't prefer girls? <laughs> Some people, and that's fair, but you know. I haven't been able to, I, ha I just haven't been able to, to have girls night in a while and I just think it's gonna be fun or whatever. Same. She's like, I don't have friends before I came here. <laughs> I don't really have like a life before I came here. Was I alive before I came here? Are any of my memories of my past history real apart from those that relate to this place? Am I like in some existential quandary like Schrodinger's cat situation where I only exist because I'm here? Ah, let's just make some daggers. <laughs> It'll be fine. Sorry for being weird. She's like, I like weird. Let's get weird. No, you're not. Look, we're both just excited and only somewhat scared about what might happen tonight. And that could mean a lot of things. Let's put it up on the board. Let's let's take it to um was it Family Feud? Let's see what the board says. Show me answer number one. 
Uh, that thing that Deadpool does in Deadpool 2, when he's got, uh, a piece of, like, uh, a fence through his head. And he does this little hand motion. Um, 2. Everything described in the Ashiniko, uh, Slumber Party song, and other songs. Um, 3. A non-sexy pillow fight. Like, where it's just, like, aggressive and angry. And then it's like, oh, you hit me with the side that has the zipper. It cut my face a little. Like, now we're not cool. You broke my glasses. <laughs> or, five. And I, I will be pissed if this happens. Somehow, olives find their way here. I'll be pissed off if somehow olives hunt you down. Like, maybe the boys are, like, pissed off, and they're like, we're gonna put olives inside your daiquiris. <laughs> totally, it'd be so nice to just get out of this damn house. Yeah, family driving you up the wall. I mean, she's got, like, brothers that are apparently annoying and little, you know, they're younger and all that. Always. It's not just that, though. There's nothing fun to do. What? I would feel like you would like have more money or something because you've been here for a while and even if you're poor like you're still like a fairy and shit like I feel like your problem I mean I don't it doesn't seem like you have any powers but I feel like your problem realistically would be more that like stuff that mischievous stuff happens and you seem more level headed and that could be annoying, you know? Gee. Uh, so what do you do then? I don't know. I, I draw a lot. I read. I'm actually reading a really good book right now. While well, I'm in the middle of this conversation with you. And drawing. Really? Which one? Oh, uh. Never mind. So it's one of those books, is it? By like Danielle Steele or something? I think that's the proper uh, author for those sort of books. It's got a guy on it that looks like you, if you called him Italian Stallion and you didn't know him, he would still turn. <laughs> he would still be like, yes. Modeled on Fabio. Or Chatham Tanning or Tanning Chatham or whatever his name is. Can't remember that guy's name. Oh, come on, you can't drop that tantalizing morsel then expect me to just forget it. You know what? They gotta have like a... No, no, no. That's just with my glasses off. <laughs> it's embarrassing! It's like just straight like fucking like hardcore friggin' like fan fiction but like pro level because it's like you know years of dedication smut just just like make it would make a man be like oh wow okay this is i this is more graphic than like watching something happen in mexico that <laughs> You're like feel uncomfortable about watching. Only at least it doesn't have farm animals in it. It's just and then you you we oof like it's just like it's like I feel like I'm sticky from it and I'm not sweating, I'm not turned on, I'm just like like I feel dirty from it. <laughs> Listen, they I will always be more embarrassing than you. That is the Stella seal of guarantee. That is a promise that I'm pretty confident I can keep. That's one thing that, that she said is true. I'm pretty confident that's never going to end. You don't have to worry about being embarrassed around me. Trust me. Fine, it's Stacy Clue. Detective girl book. I still don't remember who... Nancy Drew! Stay sleep, Nancy Drew. Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew. 
Still like the Encyclopedia Brown better. Or any other number of other things that don't necessarily... I mean, Sherlock Holmes is pretty cool, too. And I'm like, I don't know, whatever. Oh, my God. I told you it's embarrassing. It's like, no, I are... I, like, I'm reading the same thing. It's all good. I love Stacey Glue books. I don't like that they used a K. <laughs> really? Yes. Why would you be embarrassed for liking them? They're rad. Because they're cheesy and hokey and probably for a lower reading level. She's like, going to be valedictorian. I don't know what, exactly what these things are, but if they're Nancy Drew level things and they're significantly ben beneath her reading level and it's like yeah not that that's bad it's just well yeah <laughs> well because I guess it made for kids look so are a lot of things if you enjoy it you enjoy it reading is a little different when it comes to it's made for kids it doesn't have necessarily the same effect in my opinion because it's so it's like basic to the degree sometimes that it becomes difficult to comprehend it's like why is this hard because it's so simple i think on a different wavelength and level hey they're young adult novels yeah call it a ya sells more come on glasses you should know that come on come on come on we're young adults, so they're, basic, they're made for us. Those of you are basically 17 to maybe 18. Like, depending on when you're born, and this is your senior year and how far we're in it. I don't know if we got the midterms yet, but... Stuff's happened. Oh, wait, it's in the... You said that it was going to be like... The, it was like uh, fall... You know, I think you actually said what, what, like, general, whatever, it doesn't matter. Ha ha ha, fair enough. What's your favorite book? Oh, it's gotta be Stacy Clue and the White Collar Crim- That's, oh my god. That sounds so boring. That sounds so tedious and boring. Like, unless this person goes down, like, hard, like, fuck. <laughs> Me too! Okay, well, at least you guys have that in common. So good, right? So good. Seeing Stacy take down Wall Street one slime bag at a time is just... Uh, likely to get your ass getting assassinated. Um, they got the money, and they know people that owe them favors, and just not good people, so... But it's a fictional thing, so no worries, right? <sighs> there are no words. There's one. Justice. <laughs> we'll finish the night with a little bit of justice. And by justice, I mean just us and ice and some regions of the body that would be exposed and you could put ice on for various effects. Sorry, I'm just going to keep making it worse because it's so wholesome I feel like I have to fill in for it. It's like, oh, it's cute. No point already. Like, three kinds of justice that can only really exist in fiction. Oh, no, the kind. She's like, I wish Stacy was real. The things I'd do. Okay, see her? She's all like, giggity, giggity, go. I was gonna be like, your birthday's coming up. Right? I guess. Maybe it's already passed. I don't know. She's like, totally. See, now that's gotta be something that is strange. Like, like, that I don't personally understand as a, as a straight, well, like, you know, LGBTQ, like, supportive and ally and all that, but, like, this experience right here, like, to me, from a, 
from a guy, straight guy's perspective, it's sort of like, that's got to be weird. Like, she just said, like, I know they're flirting and stuff, but it's it, it's still got to be strange in the sense that it's like, oh, I wish she were real. The things I would do to her. It's like, totally. It's like, well, you're real, <laughs> you know, and we'll be unsupervised at your house tonight with likely alcohol eh you see where I'm going with this goes back to the Deadpool motioning anyways uh, I'll, I'll see you soon party tonight Woo! not a party but sure you are real you're a real stickler for um like, the specific meaning of words. She's like, I'm not moving my shit. There is only one. Like, it's not a party because there's not more than five people. Like, okay. I mean, alright, more power to you. Whatever. Haha. <laughs> Bye, day. And she's like, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. Bye, Stella. Not too long after that phone call, Day was in my kitchen with all these ingredients for my dr for our drinks. See the way you phrase that, it's it's a little it's a little off. Like she was in not long. She was in my kitchen. Like. <laughs> And I was so nervous, my heart was racing day in my house for the first time. But would your previous blender work? That's the thing. Will it? I don't know. It's just so exciting. Cool. I'm so ready for tonight. Are you? Are you? I hope you've been doing your kegels. No. <laughs> okay, I think that's too far. I feel like I've crossed the line. <laughs> She's a fictional fairy person. But still, I feel like I've crossed the line. Totally, but I'm like experiencing a fair bit of fear. I mean, I feel like you probably, if you haven't been to like a party or whatever you probably haven't had too many sleepovers if any so that's the thing and then also like you probably haven't ever actually been I mean you said I mean I don't know if it's true I was the one saying it but I'm pretty sure you probably haven't been with anybody or if you have it's one person I feel like the mistake I've made in the past is trying to get drunk from either terrible beer that's too weak or just straight up whiskey. No in between. It needs to be like 2.2% alcohol by volume. Is that a reasonable percentage? Is that like a normal, I guess, maybe for like a weak one? Or 80 proof. <laughs> like, damn. Okay. Freaking Jim Morrison just being like, won't you take me? To the next whiskey bar. In a good way, though. The fear I'm feeling, I mean. It's that exciting kind of scared. But mixed drink occupy like this. Perfect space in the in between those two. So we're having two different conversations now. That's fun. Uh, very easy to keep up with. You guys are sort of just like... Okay. All I'm thinking about, though, is how... And I'm gonna end it here because it's gone on for a second, and I just wanna, like... There's nobody watching. But I want you to think about it. I want you to think about... All she's thinking about, though, is how... And then fill in the blank... Have at it. Just go buck wild. Like, I don't care. You know, like, 
that one's gonna leave comments. I still want to see them. I still think just like just to see what other just go crazy with it. Yeah. <laughs>